Hello, my beautiful darling loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel. Those links are below. Uh, if you would like to book a reading, if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, if you would like to check out my tarot tutorial, all that info is in the description box and comment section below. I also have a Patreon um, that would be for cancer placements only. Okay, so all of that is below. Um, so my loves, I, I had, a, before I sat down on this reading, I had a vision in my head. Normally my readings are not gender specific. Usually I just go with masculine or feminine energy, but this was very specific. It was a man sitting in a car and he was holding the the steering wheel really tight just really tight and just like screaming yelling crying just very upset individual okay very upset individual so i don't know if this man that i saw is he must be really feeling the mercury retrograde that we're going through um, but I got a sense of just sheer misery. Whatever is happening in this man's life was just sheer misery. And then I also heard, don't believe what you see on social media. So I feel collective that this is going to resonate with people that don't necessarily want an ex back, but there is a sense of like rage or frustration that your person left you went towards somebody else and they've got like this amazing life on social media or they gave this other person the love or the loyalty or everything that they should have given to you they gave to somebody else and all you're seeing is you know social media kissy kissy lovey dovey but i think spirit wants you to know that that is not what's really going on at all like you know that is not what's going on at all so we've got done, we have interlude, and we've got projected. So like I said, I feel like the relationship is complete. I feel like this cycle is done. I don't feel collective like you want this person back. Or it could be collective that this person maybe needs to come back around towards you to tell you how miserable they are for something to come to a completion. It could have been days, weeks, months, years that this has gone by where someone here has been playing happy family with somebody after they kicked you to the curb, okay? This person left you destroyed. They left you shattered. They left you broken. I feel collective that you were really messed up. Like this person did some serious damage when they walked away from you. Okay. And I think it was all based off of lust with this third party that they were with. But you see the whole concept of cheating collective, you have to understand the concept of, sh of cheating is the excitement in doing something that you know you're not supposed to do. Not to mention you're wildly attracted to a person that you really haven't gotten a chance to know. It's just a sexual-based connection. And I think that's what happened here. I do feel that whatever you're going through right now is going to come to an end because I feel like something is going to take place here where you're going to find out about the shit show that's happening behind the scenes. I feel like spirit is telling you to grab your popcorn and get ready. Grab your popcorn and get ready because you're about to find out what's really happening behind the scenes. Tell me more. Tell me more about the collective, please. Okay. So we've got lockdown and hamster wheel. So first and foremost, I could tell you this. 
the person in question here is not doing well financially. They may be appearing to do well financially on social media, but they're not. I just heard that stupid song from TikTok, my money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. This person is it's jiggling. This person is counting their pennies, that's how bad it is, okay? This person's money is not folding anywhere, okay? This person is, it's jiggling. We've got lockdown here, mental prison and confined. For some of you, your person could be facing some type of legal charges. This person may be in trouble with the IRS, maybe. It could be that this person needed money, so they did something stupid to obtain that money. Uh, maybe they didn't pay the IRS, or maybe they skimmed off of the top at the company that they worked at. Maybe they stole something. Um, this person tried to cut corners, and now they're paying the price for it, okay? If it's not a legal situation collective, then this person is just broke. It could be that this third party that they went towards likes a lavish lifestyle or likes money and is spending all of their money and, you know, their credit card debt has racked up. Um, they're trying to live a lifestyle that they can't keep up with. This person kicked you to the curb, they blocked you, and they cut you off. And it has been all downhill from there. It has been all downhill from there. I feel like with anxiety sold and gossip here, collective, you've been doing a little stalking. We all do. Don't feel bad. I do it too. I'm bored. Listen, your girl's bored. Okay. My favorite thing to do is block people and then go on my fake account and look at what they're doing with their lives. Okay. We get bored. I get it. Okay. I think that you are keeping tabs on this person because, bear with me now, just hear me out, okay? You're a little addicted to the anxiety, that rush that you get when you see your person posting these pictures, or maybe you're even looking at not your person's profile, but your person's, this third party's profile. And it really grinds your gears, okay? When you see that these two are out on vacation or they're doing this or they're doing that, they just bought a new house, they just moved in together. You're it's 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 a little petty, okay? There is some jealousy, maybe some envy, but not because you want this person back. I don't feel that. I just feel that you are weighed down with frustration because it's like, I did so much for this person. I Let's just say collective, if you helped your person start a business or something like that, and then this person up and left you, that business is failing. If you help this person with their credit and then they left you, their credit has now gone to shit. Whatever you helped do for this person to build them up, they've lost it. They've lost it, okay? Or they're about to lose it, okay? And I think that it really grinds your gears. I think it really grinds your gears that this person, like you helped them get on their feet, you helped them be a better person, you were there for them through thick and thin just to watch some other person get a ring on their finger or to watch some other person buy a house with them. It's frustrating, okay? I've been there myself, so I get it. It doesn't mean that you want the person back. But it's just like, man, what a fuck. You just, you know, like the the audacity that you shit on me, that I helped you through thick and thin. I helped you through it all. And you go and give that other person everything that you should have given me. Now, again, if you look on their social media, okay, if you look on their social media, 
everything looks hunky dory, but it is not like that. That is not the name of this person's game right now. No, no, no. We've got magnetic. And we've got focused. Eyes for you, fascinated, watching, and magnetic. You can't help yourself, collective. For some reason, you, you cannot help. And I've been there myself, so it's nothing to be ashamed of, but you cannot help it. You keep finding that you need to go on and look at their social media. And I'm going to tell you why it's like this for you. It's like this for you because this is not the way the story ends. It's like this for you because spirit says you're not going to walk away from this situation feeling like this person won. Am I making sense when I say that? Like right now, if you were to say, Gina, I'm never going to go on their social media again or look at their shit or do anything ever again. Hand to God. Okay. I'm not going to do it. The way that story would end would be you assuming that your person took advantage of you, hurt you, cheated on you, and went off to go live happily ever after riding into the sunset with, on, with unicorn farts and glitter, okay, with this other person. And that's not the case. It's just not the case. So the reason why you feel so magnetically drawn to, you know, look at these, at your person and the, their new person's lifestyle is because spirit is telling you, I, I, there's something here that you need to see. What you need to know is that this is not what it looks like. This person is broke. This person is either facing prison time or they are in mental torment ever, ever since they've ghosted you. Okay. This is somebody with bounty hunter and fulfilling a fantasy. They went towards a third party. They were hot pursuit. They walked away from you with a fire up their ass. They sabotaged the connection with you. They had no interest in let's just say you wanted to sit down and say, listen, why don't we take a deep breath and talk about this? They had no interest in talking about nothing. They just were nasty, defensive, just blocking stuff. Just bad news. They wanted out. They wanted out because when this third party said jump, they said how high. This is someone that thought that this third party was going to fulfill every fantasy. Okay every fantasy and it did not work out that way and i feel like collective you'll come to find that as much as you want to stop thinking about this as much as you want to avoid not looking at their social media not going online and and as much as you don't want to see it as much as you don't want to see it because it makes you feel like shit it makes you feel like shit. As much as you don't want to see it collective, you can't stop yourself. And you know why? Because with pretending here fake and living beyond means with investigating, spirit is telling you the reason why you can't stop looking is because you're not seeing the truth. You're not seeing the truth. These people are living beyond their means. Okay. They don't have the money to keep up with the lifestyle that they're living. And everything that you're seeing is fake. That's why you cannot stop going on, looking at their profiles, looking at this life that they're leading. It doesn't sit right with you. Okay. It doesn't sit right with you. And there's a reason for that because it's not real because it's not real. Tell me more about the collective, please. Yeah, I, I mean, let's just keep it real, guys, okay? It has you in a little bit of a depression here. 
Okay. It has, yeah, it has you in a little bit of a depression here. Maybe you're talking about it to your friends a lot saying, how could he do that for her? How could she do that for him? How could he just leave me and go, you know, live happily ever after with this person and just leave me for dead like that? How could they do that? It has you in your feelings. Okay. They were supposed to keep their promises to you. This person may have told you, if you help me with this, I promise I'll, you know, we'll, we'll be good. Like help me get through school and then I'll get my degree and everything will be great. If you just, you know, pay all the bills while I start my business and then everything will be great. Um, you know, if you just help me get my credit together, then everything will be great. We can buy a house. You know, it, it's almost like, you know, if you, if you co-sign on this car and then I'll have a car to get to work and all this other stuff, life will be great. And now you're sitting here, you co-signed for a car and uh, some other woman or man is in the passenger seat. They made a lot of promises to you collective that they did not keep. They made a lot of promises that they didn't keep and it looks like they're going and that they are giving those promises to other, to fulfilling those promises with other people. Yeah, you need, you need to expect something very unexpected here. Expect the unexpected because I feel like this person's about to pop up on you. You may know that this is coming collective because you may see this person's name somewhere. You may see the type of car that they like or the type of car that they drive or a type of car that you guys shared together. You may end up like, you know, end up in a place where you and this person used to go to all of the time. There's going to be a name, a car, a place, a song. Something here is going to trigger you that you're going to think about this person and then out of nowhere, your phone goes off. Okay. We've got outdated, expired, disused, old news and discarded. This, this person tossed you away like you were trash. They kicked you out to the curb like you were trash. And now they want to talk. Now they want to have a conversation about why they hurt you or why they left or whatever the case may be. This person's going to put on quite the show collective. Quite the show because this person wants to reveal all the drama that is going on in their life right now. For some of you, for some of you, they may have gotten a third party, this third party pregnant. For others of you, this person is so broke that they are, they're having to go to family members or they're in a circle to help them with money. This, this karmic, this third, why am I, I, I feel like it's karmic. I feel like this person is, they got pregnant on purpose and they're threatening your person with child support now every time your person doesn't do exactly what they want. Your person could be getting sued if they did something wrong. Bad karma. There's bad karma here. This person is wishing, hoping, praying to Jesus. You got this person talking to Jesus collective. They are hoping and praying that you will take them back or help them. I don't know what this person wants from you. I don't know what this person wants from you. Yeah, look, we, <laughs> you're divine feminine and ascension here. Collective, listen, I know that you guys might be dipping your little, beautiful, cute, little, tiny noses into this person's social media to see what they have going on. But like I said, Collective, I don't think you want this person back. 
I think that you're ascended. I think that you're you're moving into your true divine feminine energy. Um, I, I, I don't think you want this back, but I think that the remnants of the anger and the unfairness of it all is what's blocking your final assumption, uh, ascension. You're kind of trapped. You're kind of stuck in this middle ground of like you're right there in your ascension uh, process. You're right there ready to shift over. But the only thing that's left is this frustration that it's so unfair that this person used you and went to go give everything that was meant to be yours to someone else. And what spirit is doing, I think, is giving you the closure in seeing that this person's life is a fucking mess. Excuse my language. Their apology is even fake. You know what I think this person is feeling, Collective, is that ever since they left you, they've been dealing with such bad karma that they're wondering if they should come back and apologize and make things right with you if things will get better. They're wondering if things will get better. So I don't even think that they're coming back around towards you for emotional reasons. We've got game over here. I don't, I feel like this connection is over. I don't see a reconciliation here. I don't think that this person loves you and I don't think that they love the third party. I think that lust drove them towards the third party and financially or materialistically, they had whatever they needed or wanted to take with them. If you help them start a business, the business is in their name. It goes with them when they leave. If you co-signed on a car for them, the car was mainly in their name so they could take the car when they leave. Um, you know, the, the apartment was in their name. So when you guys broke up, you had to leave. And now there's another woman or another man living in your apartment on the furniture that you picked out. Right. But I think that because their life has been, it, it's just going downhill from the second they left you, it's been going downhill. So they're hoping that if they come in with this fake ass petty, stupid apology that maybe their life will get a little bit better. We've got caution and we've got expecting a new beginning. I think that when this person pops up, you're a little worried that they're wanting to reconcile with you, but I'm not really sure that that's the case. I think that this person just is wondering that if they Oh, I think that this person is wondering if they just make amends with you, if their life will change. I, I, I do have to say, I think that they are miserable with the third party. Here's what's going to happen. The third party is going to catch them talking to you. They're going, so not only, not only is money bad, is everything else bad, right? But this karmic is going to catch them. They're going to catch the messages on their phone that, that they have reached out to you. Now, I do feel like this karmic has something over their head. It could potentially be a child for some of you. Or this karmic has information that can put your person in prison, okay? We've got twin flames that have been wanting to pop out. I think that collective, you are, you need this to happen. You need this closure to take place in order for you to be able to move towards your divine counterpart. Spirit is telling you, I need to set the record straight here. You're sitting here crying, upset, mad, and angry at the unfairness of it all. But no, no, no. Let me show you what is really happening here. Okay. 
you're seeing these people go on vacations and adventures and, and live in La Vida Loca, right? And doing all this stuff. It's fake. It's fake. It is all fake. We've got fake friends and we've got journal here. Oh, and bank failure. Collective, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Until your person was the life of the party and paying for shit and taking everybody out, it was great. Your person is about to go into bankruptcy. Okay. And all these people that your person was helping and taking out to dinner and doing all this stuff, they're going to turn their back on your person. Oh, your person is mad. Oh, your person is pissed. Your person chose this karmic third party for lust. Your person surrounded themselves by fake friends that were only using your person for money or for whatever your person could provide. I think that your person is going to confide in these people that they need some type of financial assistance and these people are going to disappear. These people are going to disappear. They're fake. They are fake. Tell me a little bit more about this, please. Love story. Once upon a time. Collective, I do feel like you really love this person when you were with them. I feel like you really love this person when you were with them. You think you already know what's going on. You think you already know the T. You think these two are in love. What you don't know is that this karmic may potentially have information that can put your person in prison for something. And I think that this karmic is going to find out that your person has reached out to you. And they may bring that information to the police. They have something here to entrap your person, whether it's a child, whether it's money, um, whether it's information, they had something hanging over your person's head. And when your person comes back around, okay, when your person comes back around uh, to you to apologize, to see if maybe they set the record straight with you and leave things off. Oh, that really went under the table. There is no way I'm going to be able to get that. But the, the messages that your person sent to you, hoping that if they make things right with you, that, you know, their bad luck will stop this. It's going to hit the fan. Hold on. Oh, okay. That went like way under the table. So we've got doing drugs here. So your person might be selling drugs to make money on the side. Your person um, may have done something while they were high. You know what I just saw in my head? Let me tell you what I just saw in my head. Uh, a man and a woman driving. The man is drunk. They're fighting in the car. And he hits somebody. He hits somebody. Got into an accident, hurt somebody, ran somebody over, and then ran. And then ran, and she was in the car. So she knows what happened that night. Like she, you know, she can say, I was in the car with so and so, and he hit that other car, or he hit that lady who died on the side of the road. She may have something on this, this karmic may have something on your person to that extent, okay? And when this karmic finds out that you guys are in communication, shit is about to hit the fan. Oh, Lord. We've got forbidden love. Yeah, I think that this third party is thinking that your person is cheating on them with you. We've got tantric sex and tired of the drama. So this went 
with with your person and this third party, the sex was unbelievable between both of them, okay? When it was a private relationship, when it was a third party situation, when they were a secret, it was amazing. Now it's toxic and it's filled with drama, okay? Your person knows that this was a bad choice. They know it. But the third party is also feeling extremely insecure because those lustful days are over, okay? With denial here and trash, I think that your person is not really wanting to face the truth that they discarded a divine feminine to take trash into their life. They, they tossed away someone who loved them unconditionally for this, this person, this, this trash, this, this karmic that is literally disrupting their life. Okay. Your person wants to run away from this karmic, but your person wants to be single. So again, I do need to put it out there. This person, your person may regret what they did to you, but they're not trying to come back to you. All this person wants is for their bad luck to end. And you know, when they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, like they're trying to come towards you to apologize, to maybe rack up some good karma or good luck for themselves. And they find themselves in a very bad position where now the person that they're with feels like you guys are cheating, feels like your person is cheating with you. Not your circus, not your monkeys. Oh, well. Oh, well. This person may end up doing time. Yeah, see, we've got roller coaster with pregnancy test. We've got hater here and reminiscing. This person may have gotten this third party pregnant. And I feel like all you can think about is everything that you've done for this person. Hating on this individual. And spirit is saying no. I need you to see the truth that this person's life is being tormented. I, I know many of you are not Christian, but what does the Bible say? The Bible says, do not seek revenge, but allow room for the wrath of God. And this is why. Because believe it or not, when you put things in God's hands and when you put things in spirit's hands, they can do so much more damage than we can. Okay. Not to mention we'll end up in prison. And I know none of us look good in orange. I know me personally. I don't look good in stripes. No, 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 ma'am. No, sir. Mm -mm. Okay. So, you know, I mean, collective, you know, I know that you've spent a lot of time fumigating over this because you really love this person and the way they cut you off. No good. It, it, that, that was just too, they, they, this person was really a piece of crap. Okay. But spirit does, they're like, this is not going to be the way the story ends. This story is not going to end with you feeling like this person used you and got away with it because this person isn't giving away with shit and I need you to see it. I need you to see it and you're going to. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you so much and I'll see you soon.